Hello Taurus, happy weekend to you. It's Saturday already. I hope you're gonna have a beautiful, relaxing weekend. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So that's what we're gonna do. First, as usual, we're gonna ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, the universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Taurus. For Taurus, highest good, please. The universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus in their life and how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey. What's coming up for Taurus in their life? And how is Taurus currently doing on their soulmate journey? Let's see, Taurus, what's popping for you? Oh, you're very guarded towards your soulmate. You're very guarded towards them. Your sword is raised up. Yeah. So you're dealing with some toxic people you're letting go of. Toxic environment you're leaving behind. Yeah. Yes, whether it's toxic relatives, toxic friends, toxic co-workers, this is you uh, protecting yourself. Yeah, you're tired of certain people. You know who they are. The first people that come to your mind. You feel like you need a break from life and people. Yeah, this is you learning your important lessons in life, raising your standards. Some of you definitely have issues with your mother. So you're still holding on to some kind of resentment. Um, there's some kind of uh, questionable energy between you and your mother. Unresolved issues between you and your mother. Yeah. So even for those of you that are on a speaking terms with your mother at this time, uh, you still have some kind of unresolved issues that maybe you're not talking about or maybe some kind of uh, animosity you're holding on to. Uh, there's unresolved issues between you and your mother showing up here strongly. Yeah, you see this? You feel betrayed by a lot of people in your life. You feel like a lot of people let you down. You see this? This is you feeling all this heartbreak, betrayal. A lot of it you're holding inside within yourself because the sword is pointing down. And it's uh, in the ground. Yeah, it's in the ground. So there's a lot that you're holding back. You're not expressing. You're not allowing yourself to feel certain emotions. Yeah, you see? This is you trying not to feel heartbreak, but you feel it deeply. You just don't want to feel it. I'm sorry you're going through so much. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus. How is Taurus currently doing? Yeah, you're dealing with a bunch of toxic people that you want to let go of, whether it's toxic relatives, toxic friends, toxic co-workers, toxic neighbors. You're saying enough is enough. Yeah. Yeah, bunch of them. Oh, my gosh. You see demonic wings here and a snake. Yeah, bunch of them. Yeah, you see this? Four of swords, four of swords. So your mother also has unresolved issues with you. So you both have this energy between you two unresolved issues family drama yeah so for some of you your mother already passed away because death is showing up here so for those of you whose mother already is gone you need to learn how to forgive either way you need to learn how to forgive whether your mother is still here or not we need to learn how to forgive yeah just remember this we all pick our parents depending on what it is we want to learn before we are born we pick our parents right yeah so this mother brought some challenging situations to you uh, because you allowed it okay before you incarnated so just remember that on a subconscious level you don't remember even on subconscious level, you don't remember when you try to think about it, right? But it's going to make sense when it's your time to pass and you're going to look back and you said, okay, um, I'm thankful that this difficult person uh, brought these difficult lessons to me because I'm learning forgiveness. I'm learning patience. I'm learning acceptance, right? Yeah. 
we all pick our parents um, depending what it is we want to learn, right? Yeah, so when we pick difficult parents, that means we have a lot of challenges to deal with because we want to learn bigger lessons. Yeah, universe, please show us. Hmm. Very challenging childhood is showing up here for you. You know, please show us what's coming up for Taurus. Yeah, this is you needing to forgive. Learn how to forgive others for their transgressions towards you and how to forgive yourself for mistakes you make as well because we all make them, right? Nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. Be careful. Yeah, you see, you're holding on to a lot of anger, animosity, resentment, heartbreak. You see, this is you needing to allow yourself to forgive, uh, not view yourself as a victim of life and circumstances, okay? Because when we view ourselves as victims and blame others and mm, hold on to resentment, we're not going to allow ourselves to heal, to learn our lessons completely, right? Be careful. Some of those toxic people will try to come back to you and drain you more, whether it's toxic relatives, co-workers, friends, neighbors. Yeah. Yeah. You need to have more faith when you pray. You see this? You need to express more gratitude for the things that you currently have in your life, whether it's food on the table, roof over your head. That's a blessing, right? That most people don't have right now because a lot of people out there are homeless, right? So uh, when we have something every day, we take it for granted because it's easy for us to take it for granted, right? Because we have it every day, right? But then we see people uh, when we walk or drive, we see people without homes, sleeping on streets, under bridges, who have no food, right? Who can't even take a shower. Then we realize, wow, we are blessed after all, right? Yeah. Honestly, I don't want to be rich. I really don't. I just want to have enough money to be humble, um, progress spiritually, so I don't have to come back here anymore. <laughs> I really don't want to come back. Uh, this is, uh, planet Earth is a classroom for all of us. That's what it is. And we are its students, right? Yeah. Universe, please, I, I want to be done. I don't want to come back here anymore. <laughs> I really don't. I had enough. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Taurus. How is Taurus currently doing? <clears throat> yeah this is you uh, having better understanding connecting with higher power deeper to to learn humility yeah to learn how to uh, accept the things that um, are difficult to accept sometimes yeah yeah you see heartbreak is showing up again you really need to uh address the issues in your life especially your feelings uh, to allow yourself to heal yeah and not blame others or blame yourself but stay humble and understand that we all make mistakes yeah we have to be able to forgive others as well as ourselves for the mistakes that we make right yeah because we all make them nobody's perfect let's see what's going on with this soulmate of yours you know, please show us what is going on currently with the soulmate of Taurus that Taurus has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of Taurus towards Taurus at this time, especially emotionally? They're not reaching out to you at this time. Yeah. They're not taking action towards you. There's a lot of misunderstanding between you two communication problems showing up here yeah this person wants to clear the air with you it's very guarded emotionally towards you yeah so there are times when this person misses you they view you as stubborn however because the taurus card you see taurus over here is in the subconscious position. So this person views you as very stubborn, uh, they, like they're not able to reach you uh, through communication, meaning that you don't listen, yeah, that you don't want to listen. So uh, they view you as 
poor in communication, universe, please show us. Maybe some of you even block this person. Yeah, universe, please show us. Hmm. I'm sorry you're going through so much, Taurus, but just remember, you agree to go through these challenges to learn very tough lessons, okay? So you can't really blame anybody or yourself either, right? We're here to learn lessons, forgive, heal, right? Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus. Wow, this person wishes that you would reach out to them. They want to make amends with you. Yeah, they want to make amends with you. But they're so guarded emotionally towards you. Ooh. You said things to them that hurt them very deeply. Maybe because you told the truth that they didn't want to hear about themselves. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. This person is missing you. So obviously the two of you had good times as well. Each relationship, each couple has good times and bad times, right? This person is trying to uh, be positive. They want so badly to reach out to you, but they're stopping themselves at this time. Yeah, this was a relationship that eventually became toxic. You see the wings over here and the, the snake. Mm, a lot of heartbreak showing up here between you two. This person has a lot to address from the past. Yeah, that has nothing to do with you. They love you though, but you don't feel loved in this relationship. Universe, this has been somewhat codependent relationship. Universe, you both feel drained. Universe, please show us. Hmm... What is going on currently with that soulmate of Taurus? You guys have karma to balance. You have very difficult lessons that you're learning from each other in this tough relationship. Justice, you have karma to balance. Yeah, it's unfinished. So it doesn't mean you have to be with them in this lifetime, but it looks like you're going to have to see each other again in future incarnations to learn the lessons that you agreed to learn. You made a pact with universe, higher power to learn certain lessons from each other so you are karmically connected your souls are karmically connected oh boy yeah yeah you're gonna be meeting new people you see new people popping up here for you yeah but right now you are very guarded taurus we're gonna go into your extended reading we're going to ask about this soulmate, but also new soulmates that are popping up in your life that just showed up as three of cups with justice. Yeah. First, however, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What are they planning long-term? Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life, the Three of Cups energy. I like that positive energy. Yeah, I think that was the only positive thing in that whole reading. Wow. There's a lot you're going to have to address internally, Taurus. Yeah. Um, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Taurus, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below. And I'll see you there. Love you guys.